All right, for this episode, I'm going to be covering how to change the speed of a clip. And there is one setting inside the effects controls panel that is native to every single clip here, and that's going to be the time remapping. Let's talk about what you do simply, first of all, just to change the duration of an entire clip with its video and audio here. I'm going to right click on this clip here, and you're going to, I'm going to go to speed duration here. If you select that, it'll bring up this little window here, and it'll say how fast you actually want this clip to be. And you can say, if I want to, if I want to do 200%, it's going to play that. You'll notice the duration has changed there. Let me go back to 100% and show you. Right now, it's showing that this clip lasts 12 seconds, 14 frames. If I do 200%, that basically cuts it in half, and it will play twice as fast here. And you can also check mark things like reverse speed. If you want it to do that in reverse, it'll play the clip in reverse at 200%. Or you can do 100%. Let's just do 100% and check mark reverse and see what that does. Now, basically, that just reversed the clip, and now the whole thing will play in reverse. So now he is walking backwards. And it's playing the sound backwards as well. I'm going to undo that. Right click, go to speed duration here. And under speed duration, we've got, under speed duration, you have maintain audio pitch. This really helps if you hear somebody talking. But what this does is it tries to, when you do something faster, let's demonstrate this. I'm going to do 300%. Hit OK. And now this plays back at 300%. Let's play this back. And it's playing back at high speed, going back really fast. And as it does, listen to the audio. The audio is high pitch. It's playing it back at 300% audio speed, which makes it high pitch. So I'm going to undo that, go to speed duration, and I'm going to check mark maintain audio pitch. We change that to 300%. It's going to try to maintain the same pitch level, so it will sound just kind of a normal sound, but it will play it faster. And that room tone sounds pretty close to what it did before. You can really hear this on voices as well. If you're trying to maintain audio pitch on a voice, if you speed it up, the, vo the voice will sound like a chipmunk. If you slow it down, it'll sound all demonic and devilish. So if you want to maintain the pitch and just change the speed slightly, you can do that by check marking. And Premiere does a pretty good job of keeping the pitch of, do of keeping the pitch the same as it speeds things up. Let's go to speed duration again. Another thing here is ripple editing, shifting tra trailing clips. If you have clips playing after this, all that's going to do if you have that check marked is if you do it faster and it makes the clip shorter, it will pull the clips together. If it makes it longer, if you do a slower clip like slow motion, it will add it will push the clips out and won't overwrite it. You gotta be careful if you slow it down and there are clips in the way and you don't have that check marked, it's going to eat into them. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to undo that. Now another way of changing the speed, and this you'll have a little bit more control over, is going up to the time remapping underneath your effects control panel of this clip here. And what you'll need to do is, if, if it's not turned on already, you're going to have to toggle the animation and turn it on first of all, right there. And I believe it has it on by default. I unchecked it for the, uh, for the tutorial here, but this will have it on by default. Now what you've got up here, I'm going to tilt it over this window and show you. This is the duration of the entire clip right here, that uh, almost 12 seconds second clip here. And as you play through it, the timer mapping is kind of nice because at some point you might want it to slow down and then you want it to speed up later on. And you'll see this sometimes in, in movies where something will be sped up really fast and then it suddenly slows down during a key part. So say we want this to go really fast up until we see this reaction right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this along. I'm going to tilt it over this window so we can see what we're doing. Right here is where we want it to slow down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keyframe right there. It'll be going at a specific speed here, and then it's going to change speeds here. I want this at 100%, and beforehand, I want this to be sped up. I'm, all you have to do is grab this and drag it up and let go, and it brought the speed up here, and it increases the speed here while slowing it down here. So as we drag this up here, now you'll notice over here, the speed is up higher, and this clip actually got shortened because this is now sped up, up above here. And now this is at the regular speed, this is still in the middle right here. So I grab that and drag it up even further, it just sped that up, and I'm going to go back to the clip here, and we're going to play through that. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of the audio because we're just messing with the video. Now, so it leaves, this time remapping leaves the audio alone and just does the video. And as we play this back, now it's going, notice it's going really fast and all of a sudden it hits that keyframe and it goes normal speed. So right here, it's going at high speed and then suddenly here, it slows down to regular speed. I'm going to grab this and actually turn it down 
to velocity and you'll see your velocity going over here you'll see it changing but as I grab the clip beforehand before that keyframe and I drag it up and grab this one down here you'll notice the velocity changes down here so now it's going to be at half speed so I'm going to move this back play through it it's playing really fast and it hits that and it turns down to 44 percent there so as we move back right there this is at 257 percent speed and boom, it hits that, it's at 44. Now what this does here is with this keyframe right there, it suddenly hits this point and immediately it's going this speed. If you want that to seem a little bit more natural, let's make this, let's exaggerate this. I'm gonna turn this up. So that is now at 283. Let's go to about 300% here. Okay, we turn that up to about 300% there, 311. And then right here, it's going to go to 44. What this does right here, these little nodes right there, is if you grab the left or the right, what it will do is it will gradually go from the 300% that we have here to the side to 44%. This is basically like on a Bezier curve. I'm going to drag that, and it basically will gradually go from this point to this point. If you grab the left one, it will extend it over to the left. And we have really fast, and here it will gradually go from 300% down to 44%. So let's see what that looks like. As you play through it, it's going really fast, and then it will gradually kind of build into that slow motion clip right there. If we want that kind of regular percentage, let's move that up to 100% right there afterwards. So right there is 100%. I'm going to make this a little bit more gradual right there. Let's go to the beginning. So here it will be going super fast. I'm going to make that even faster. Let's go up to 400. So it will go like about 350%, then it will gradually go to regular speed fast, 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 and gradually kind of goes into regular motion. So this is kind of fun to experiment with, and you'll notice every time you change these things up here, you change this to slower, you'll notice the clip goes longer. If you change it to, if you change it to faster, the clip will get shorter. So just keep that in mind. It, re it readjusts your in and out points of this clip to meet the new time requirements made up here in the time remapping. And that is basically about it with the time remapping. You can sit there and mess with this and kind of experiment and see what different types of effects you get. But that is essentially how the time remapping and the speed controls work in Premiere Pro.